Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are playing Lore Accurate Sadako, or as close as we can get in this game. To start with it, we have to explain how does Sadako actually get you. For that, we look at Yoichi's parents. Now in the first movie, you can pretty much sum it up to three phases. Phase number one, she torments you. This can happen in different forms. For example, as Yoichi's father was cursed, he and Yoichi's mother were getting visions from the past. She hurt Yoichi's mother by just grabbing her arm in the vision, which left a mark in real life. The second phase is a false sense of security. The visions were basically tormenting the two until they laid Sadako's body to rest, which they thought would break the curse. At that point, the visions abruptly stopped, as if the curse was actually gone. And the third phase, breaking that false sense of security, by then still creeping out of the TV and killing the father anyway. Now, how do we do this in-game? First off, we change to the low accurate look, and then we use a endgame build, a very specific one. Now you see, in the movie, if you are cursed, at the point where you are supposed to die, you pretty much die. Right? If you don't give the curse to someone else, you die. And somebody is always gonna die. It's, it's not like everybody is going to get away. No, somebody is always gonna die. And with this build, we can achieve this. First off, we have Rancor, so we can actually kill somebody without any counterplay of their part. Now you would think, well, we still have to get them down, so we have no add as well. Then you think, well, we can only kill one of them with that. So we have Game of Foot, which changes the obsession and therefore who we can kill, depending on who is the guy we chase the most. And because we need a little more time for that, we have no way out as well. Now this build actually synergizes with Sadako pretty well, and I'm gonna tell you why. Usually, people know what's up, if you use Rancor, because they see your aura as well when the generator is done. Not Sadako, because Sadako is undetectable if she's demanifested. The other thing, usually you have to keep track on who is the one that you chase the most. But then again, not Sadako, because when she's demanifested, she can completely deny chases. That way, we can basically recreate the whole thing. Phase 1, we torment players by just standing behind corners, just jump scaring them a little bit you know second phase false sense of security at some point they're gonna notice that i'm not attacking them so they're gonna assume that i'm a friendly killer and phase number three breaking that false sense of security at the point when the last gen pops i'm gonna manifest that instantly down the first guy that's in front of me which is probably one of the guys that thought i was nice and therefore probably stayed on my ass you might think that this is OP, but no, you can most of the time only get a 2k, which would be a stalemate if you go by the rules of the game. And there's a little bit of counterplay to it. If they were to farm, because they are feeling so safe that I'm not gonna attack them, they might cleanse all the totems, which makes Noad useless. If Noad is useless, I can't down the first uh, guy I see if they then body block. And I can't down the guy that I've chased the most at that point. I am fucked. Let's see how it goes. It's pretty much a meme build. People, in my experience, were reacting pretty positively to it, so let's see how it goes. Okay, boys. First off, I've searched for people with high prestige. I didn't want to bully just new people. So, let's go. Also, I'm probably gonna cut out most of the waiting. Another thing you can see here, people pre-run due to the lullaby. They most likely have the hard speed thing because I was definitely out of sight. This pretty much shows how incredibly bad Sarko is as a stealth killer. Yo, you wanna you wanna throw the pellet? Basically our mission right now is pretty much to get a few pellets out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, pretty much phase two. They think I'm friendly now. I fucked around a bit. Yeah. By the way, look at this fucking TV spawn. They are on comms as well, like 100%. They are on comms. They all know that I'm friendly now. 
But they all think. And there we go. We can basically just choose who we want. We get a second one that would of course be nice. Ah, uh, Dramaturgy, okay. Stalemate. This is low accurate Sarako. No counterplay. Let's say bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. If you look at those, this wouldn't have been the most fun game, anyways. We have some made for this hope gamers and made for this Windows of Opportunity resilience. Now, okay, because the one round was so short. Here's another one. Now what I want to target with those is more of like bully squad uh, people on comms, right? Like the, the last game the gist was up. Like the moment I went for the chase but didn't actually chase her, you know? When I could have clearly hit her but I didn't. If you want counterplay against this, what is this? If you want counterplay against this, uh, it's pretty simple. First off, do totems. Second off, if you want to counter game of foot, just walk. Just like Sadako can deny chases by being demanifested, survivors can deny chases by walking instead of running. Oh, they don't, they don't use the heartbeat. Oh, there. There he is. Yeah, I saw that palace. They don't use the heartbeat thing, so I can actually be a little bit more jump scary. Look at her pre-running the, the lullaby. Yeah, they know by now. Look at this false sense of security. I think I want David. Good boy. You're gonna die. Yes. Yes, you're gonna die. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Who is a good boy? Good boy. You see how I look away? That's because I don't want to... I don't want to try, uh, start chase. Where the fuck did you go? Right. Ooh. Honestly, boys, the jig is up. There we go. I fucked up because I lost him. I mean, we still got someone. I'm actually... You can go. Fuck off, come on. <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't actually want you. Now at the end, let me say what went wrong in the last round. Now, I chased David for too long. I lost him. I don't know how. I don't actually know how I lost him. 
So Game of Foot wouldn't trigger when I went to the guys on the door. Now luckily for me, the obsession was came running by, so I got a kill anyways. But apparently, another way to counter this, hope that the killer is as bad as I am and just loses you for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> anyways, this was low accurate Sarako. The build where somebody is always gonna die. Hey, I, love the, I, I love this guy. <laughs> this uh, Kuro. Yeah, Kuro is awesome. He's awesome. Yeah. Kuro, no one appreciates you.